What is going on guys? It is boy Lucky Charlie here. I'm here with my boy Baron Jolt. He's here to show us our base for season two of uh, DCO Cribs. Hi right, Baron, uh, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough real quick. Just kind of show this inside right here and Hi right, brother, go ahead and show us you around your base. Alrighty, this is actually for one of my alts and this is called the air refinery. Uh, first off, let's show you some basic stuff. I uh, ended up creating like a kitchen with a view. Um, as you can see, I've layered a lot of these windows to kind of give that cityscape effect. Um, you know, refrigerators, you know, have a stove, oven, you know, sink, even a little eating area. Um, and of course, a little area to sit there and put like uh, supplies and stuff, just a little cubby off to the side. Uh, I put the generator here, if you notice, on close enough to the wall to where it creates a pattern. On the other side here where I'm standing, you'll see a, a kind of like a line pattern on the wall itself. Sometimes you can do that uh, when you have these these blank walls. If you want to press something on the other side, it'll come through just slightly and you can create your own pattern, which is kind of a neat little thing. And then, uh, let's see, hop over here. All right, so we're going into the main area. As you can see here, uh, a lot of folks didn't really use these big cannons because they, they're, they're more for, you know, league halls. But as you can see, I wanted to kind of give a message out, you know, that maybe this character uh, I have, uh, not me, but uh, my alt, might, he might be a little paranoid of that town. So that's why I have all the windows here in case he just wants to sit there and uh, felt like maybe the, if anybody was coming for him, he, had, he was ready for him. I have a little area over here in case he wants to sit there and drop like plans or have a meeting, you know, about what to do. Uh, and once again, I, I went ahead and used a, a lot of the Kryptonian uh, half arches and supports to, to make these lattice style walls that kind of look a little on the futuristic side. Uh, down here, you'll see one of the, uh, uh, this is my alt's uh, DPS loadout. And of course I combined uh, the arch wall along with the Zeus arch to sit there and make a unique little combination. Same thing with combining other things. I sat there and took the chandelier and one of the little air vents made a rather unique looking uh, piece down here. Once again, you see me using a lot of these in the front room area, a lot of these windows again. Um, as you see what's above me, you'll see this is a, the first uh, of many fans you'll see in this base. Uh, this is a, an apocalyptic induction fan. Um, I don't know how often they pop up, but they uh, they are a pretty neat piece and they're rather large too, as you can see. Uh, right now I'll go ahead and show you the uh, the control room. Uh, once again, this is a combination of uh, a lot of items. Um, uh, you have another Apocalyptian fan here. I have the Apocalyptian cannon. Uh, and then I used a lot of these activated uh, control modules. And what I did is I overlaid them. And when you get them close enough, you can space them out to where they make a, the, you know, the lights can be obviously real close. And it looks like it's a grid of lights. And... Um, you can actually still, even though you put things in front of your, your amenities, you can still get to them, uh, as a lot of people already know. I've been using a lot of the walls here. This is the uh, vault circuitry, a uh, little pill dispenser over here. You can combine them, overlap them, and, and make them into the same thing. This is a, uh, when you layer these all up, they, it's a nice little glow effect. These are, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember what they're called right now. Uh, uh, something, something, chemical something, I'm sorry. And then, of course, I have my uh, armory where I have all the uh, guns stalled or uh, stored. Uh, over here is a tiny little area for if I have guests, somebody can sleep in uh, the little cot here. Once again, you'll see a window even by that underneath the stairs. And uh, this is another item that uh, a lot of folks don't use in uh, personal bases. This is the, uh, the diesel generator. And I actually uh, put my, uh, the, my little workstation right by it so it looks like I can just come up to the diesel generator but I can actually go ahead and break things down build build mods uh, did a little visual gag here with uh, I forgot to even mention this uh, I did a little visual gag here with the uh, uh, oh gosh uh, Baron Von Savage painting and a couple of lights gave him a little bug eyed look there and um, as you can see as I flew up into this you'll see I have a bunch of fans on the walls. These are your standard uh, uh, ventilation fans and of course the apocalyptic uh, induction fans again up top. You see how much room they'll take. And then uh, let's go ahead and we'll take a little walk downstairs. Now uh, the character's name is Emperor and Emperor 
is growing his own army, as you can see. And another little interesting thing, uh, maybe this will happen. These are the tables that you would get from the Starro event. Uh, a lot of them dropped. Uh, a lot of folks only used uh, one or two of them. I actually figured a way of using the water from the summer event to flood the whole bottom of the base down here, and then I used the tables as walkways over the water. And as you can see, there's empty tubes here. I have a Kryptonian arm here in case I want to sit there and swap out tubes. Uh, another little cubbyhole area. These are a bunch of uh, furnaces. And I put the other uh, generator over here. And of course, this is the other area for uh, his DPS, not DPS, uh, his controller loadout. Oops, let me get out. Wait. And then, uh, as you can see down here, it's a little open area. I don't have much going on right here. I did a lot of collection, like he's reinforcing this wall here. You'll see more of the windows lined up. And then, of course, I have one of my amenities down here as well. I made a nice little archway, and then I combined it with some fireplaces at an angle to kind of make it look like it's part of a part of a larger thing. And um, we'll show his throne room real quick, as you can see. Um, if you use a lot of these archways, lace them up, you, they can make it like a little walkway tunnel. And then you come right into his little throne room. As you can see, he's doing well off. Uh, once again, uh, right above me, I keep him with the theme, uh, fans and pulling air in. Is another uh, induction fan and some monitors. Uh, behind the throne is going to be, uh, of course, one of those moon windows. And as you can see, I've laced it with other things like archways and whatnot. This is the uh, Olympian archways. Uh, There's actually two of them. Uh, you can get them to touch, and it looks like one big, thick archway. There's a, of course, he has a lot of knights standing, waiting to guard. And we're going to go ahead and uh, take this upstairs. Because... Anybody coming to the base is wondering why is all these fans, where are they pulling? And well, what they're pulling is they're pulling air from the greenhouse area here. You probably see some critters jumping about, possibly a couple of little uh, springtime and uh, the water pack nymphs. I also have, uh, I think, the Isis, the Isis cats around here somewhere, but she kind of blends in. Yeah, she's right here beside me. Oh, there she is. And anybody that gets the cave uh, part here, yeah, I don't know if you'll see it combined with it. Uh, the reason why I put one of those little uh, Starro uh, fishbowls here is if you notice that when you get the cave theme, there's, a, there's steam that comes out. So this makes it look like there's actual warm water coming out of this part. That's why I have it kind of this root coming up from the springtime event and then rain mixed in with it. And then we're going to come in here and we'll show the extension. Hold on one second. This is really nice. Got the bed over here, got the trees. A lot of little hidden stuff in here. So All right, sorry about that. You're good, brother. Go ahead, Keith. There. Did you have a question there? No, I just didn't want it to be quiet, so I just kinda of described a few things over there. Just, just that way it wasn't to quiet. Show where some of the additional water was coming from. Yeah, and that's this is kinda of like a little aquacultural area. And uh I'll step out of the side here so you can go and check the uh, the bathroom. And the interesting thing about the tub you'll see in the corner or the back area there is I use some of the vines draping down as almost like a little uh, privacy area, but you can walk right straight through it. Yeah, maybe you can. <laughs> <laughs> My big guy can't do it. Oh, there we oh. go. I was like, maybe you can. My big guy couldn't do it. So I was like, um, 
because you said it, so I was like, okay, I'll try it real quick, and then you know, but your characters, I, I'm thicker, so yeah, those little dip guys will will get you trapped. I mean, uh, I like having them around; they're, they're 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 cute and all, but they will follow you and they will get you stuck. Uh, but as you can see, like I said, if you want to pan around, you can see pretty much there's tons and tons and tons of fans. And the whole theme was is it's pulling the air from the, the aquacultural and the uh, the greenhouse area, which is uh, making fresh air, and it's, of course it's pulling it back out and using it uh, for other means. And once again, uh, I don't know if uh, you've seen it on... Uh, I've used it before, but not to this extent. Uh, this is the... Uh, the archway, uh, not the archways, the door frames, the art deco. Oh, wait, you can actually see them right on the other side. See, a little two way mirror. Right, yeah. That's I, I've always. Every time you do this, uh, I think it's awesome. Where you know, like if I go to the other side of this thing, which I'm about to, well, you can't see anything from this side at all, guys. But you see that little little water spout thing. You come over here. On yeah, this side, and oh, you're good. But see, you couldn't see anything. You just seen a blank wall, and but you could see the little sprite. And now you see the little guy running around. You can see actually see inside of that base. Baron, come on over here real quick. Like Baron's yeah. on the other side of the wall, and you don't know say it's like a two-way mirror. He can't see us, but I can see him. So that's always a cool little thing that you can do with your base. First time he done it, I don't know uh, if you actually go look at season one, Baron's Baron's actual base. He actually has a little small kitchen area where a fireplace is covering it up. But if you go into the kitchen area, you can actually see the actual two-way mirror trick. You know what I'm saying? I could actually see like Baron on the other side of it. But I was, uh, I was in the kitchen, but all Baron seen was a fireplace. So... It's always a cool little trick, especially if you like you like if you like to do your base stuff and and like trick your buddies. But like, yeah, come over here, look at this. Okay, now come into this and you walk on the other side. You see me? He's like, you know, everybody's like, what? Well, how'd you do that? You know what I'm saying? It'd be your own little secret unless they've seen this video. So, well, it's the same, it's the same thing. You get something like a lip here. Uh, you can go ahead and, and extend these down. Now I have the I have uh, the larger frames you can overlap them and that's what I did here I did two two double door frames and then I did a single door frame to basically fill the entire hole and it, and it looks like a, a neat little pattern but what it boils down to is if you look it, it, and you can fly up here and you can just look at the, the whole breadth of it it literally makes a wall cutting all the way across from one side to another right and it actually makes this into Instead of being a big open area like a lot of people have in their bases, this actually makes it an enclosed area. So that's why I was able to sit there and start to put in the fans and the diesel engine because it makes it look like it's an industrial area, which is a, a big contrast to you see all the foliage and the plant life on the other side. But it's supposed to be, you know, it's kind of the represent, representation of the theme itself. Yeah, because if, if I'm not mistaken, this right here is where the where the beam yeah, is. The basically, they, 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 they want to do one one thing through the entire base and that's and that's pretty cool too uh if you do it right but then with me i wanted to do something that was almost kind of like hot and cold you know i wanted to do something that was all industrial looking with the fans and the the generator the diesel engines stuff like that and then on the other side you see uh foliage and water and and you see a lot of trees and you know little guys uh flitting in and out and, and of course a um if I put more bats, I was thinking of putting more bats, but the, the interesting thing, you can't see the bats with all the, the uh, springtime trees in there. Right. Uh, they don't really stick down, but I think if you get the uh, the raven that comes down uh, that's on the little perch, you can actually put a raven down there uh, from the Halloween event, and you can have some birds sitting in there. But I don't have, I don't have a, a raven for that. I, I should have got that when I had the chance. Right, I mean, I, even even like the bats that hang down, the bigger ones, I think that would be too big for this. You know what I'm saying? Because you you can get the uh, the the bigger bats that are like this drop down from the ceiling, mm -hmm. and like ones just like got his like it looks like he's flying and stuff like that, and then one's doing an angle and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, but... the, the the big model bats. Yeah, I was thinking about the bat. The, the smaller ones are actually sleeping because I have like a few of them in here. It's just they blend in so well with the trees. Right. 
I was trying to find one where some, somebody could see, but I don't see none of them. Uh, I think there's one right, right here, right by the light. Right where my, see him hanging down. But like I said, he ble he, he blends in with the tree. Yeah, he, he really does. I really don't see it. So, oh yeah, I see him now. There he is. Okay, I see him. He's up here sleeping. I see him now. Okay. Yep. And the nice thing is, like back behind the bed here, you know, I know a lot of folks are going to wonder how they, how do you want to keep the the force extending? You can get the uh, the springtime wall dividers, put them up against the walls, to kind of create that fo that line of foliage, and you can eat, and then and then of course extend your trees out from there. Because uh, there's a lot of people they'll they, they try to replicate this, you know. Because I remember uh, a, a couple of YouTubers have, have shown the, the the springtime event. And they'll show all the trees, and it looks really cool. But then when you you look down, you'll see a bare wall behind the trees, in between the trees. And this is how you kind of get around that problem: is you take the wall dividers, and it creates like a solid line of foliage on the walls, and then you just build out from there. So even if you're looking between the trees, it still looks like it keeps going. And I, I, I love how these flowers create, you know, something a little deeper than just the, the simple grass. But I do have patches of grass in here as well. Uh, and, of course, the, the, the mushroom patches. Right. Uh, I, do like how, like, you know, I do like how you got this tree trunk right here and then your bank's in there, too. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. Those are actually... Uh, those are the the armoires, the little nature armoires. I took, I think, I took two or three of them, and pushed them all together around it to where it looks like it's a big tree trunk. And I, the way I turned them is you don't see the little doors on, them. and I kind of mushed them all up around it so it looks like it's it's a big tree trunk with the the actual little bank vault coming out of it. Right. Yeah, I thought that and, that's cool and blended in awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of neat little things that you can combine with the summer summertime event and the springtime event because you'll get the little palm palm fronds so you can make if, if, if you don't like the flowers the flowers aren't deep enough you can get more of these little palm trees uh, like a like I'm standing over by over by the base of the tree over here and you can literally make it uh, above your knees if you want to fill your base with that but like I said, that's a. It all depends on the height of what you want to have covering your your character's feet. Uh, you do the grass; it's like almost like carpet. If you do, you know, which comes with. Yeah, I think you can get the grass in like during the uh, the uh, St. Patrick's Day event. The grass and the the stonework and stuff like that. And then, of course, the springtime you can get the flowers, which puts it just below the knee. And then, of course, the summertime event you can get the palm, the little palm trees, uh, the baby palm trees. And that can actually make it above your knee. It all depends on how much of it you want to look like a forest and how much of it you want to look like a jungle. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Um, I know the, I want to say the last spring season, didn't we have like different color, like flower, um, like patch grass type deals? You know what I'm talking about? I think we had yeah, like we had white, color. purple and stuff like that. That Would that blend in pretty good with this too? Well, that's all, that's what it is. This is what you're seeing. You're seeing the the purple, the the oranges, the whites. I've I've overlaid. Oh, them. is this what is this that? Oh, yeah, so this why is... was I thinking they look like roses or something? I don't know why I thought they were like more stimmy. No, no, this is what they this is what they look like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, something for anybody that's you know an interesting thing because I'm a huge swamp thing fan and and I might I might try this in a future one after after experimenting and learning with this base. Uh, one thing, if you want something to look less like a forest or jungle and you want it to look more like kind of like a dreary swamp, uh, my suggestion is, is to sit there and get uh, try to collect up on the dead trees that were going during the Halloween event. Mix that with, uh, with a lot of the water puddles you get from the summer event. And then get the hanging ivy that uh, drops a lot. You know, or, or you'll see some of it, I use some of it on the walls here as well. You combine those because it kind of has that that kind of a uh, swamp look to it, and you can literally make more of a swamp thing, kind of a uh, theme base. So if you want something that looks more like a swamp and, and less like a forest, that's how you kind of go. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of picking a different style of trees. It's going to be less foliage, but it's going to look a little bit more like that. 
mix it with the hanging moss. And, you know, th so there's there's ways that you can do a nature theme and, and have it look different than what I got. You know, it's just a matter of, like, what, you, what you're going to invest in and what you're going to invest in during the, during the seasonal events. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize the seasonal events themselves are just a treasure trove if you want to pursue a certain theme. Uh, like you saw with with Baron's base, uh, there was a lot of crystals I collected during the uh, during the February uh, Valentine's event. And uh, even if you don't like the pink, you know you can always combine those crystals with um, with even the Kryptonian stuff that you pick up that has crystals, so you can make uh, multiple ones of that. Or you can do uh, with Christmas time with all the icicles that have been dropping right now. That's that's a, that's the perfect time for any ice based characters that want to have an ice theme. Uh, for their characters, so I mean, there, there's, there's, you just look at the different seasonal events and what kind of theme you want to run with your characters, and then you can go with that. Right. Yeah, dude. Every time I come in here, I, I, I see something new every time. I know I've been in this space. God, I know I've been in this space like 500 times, and every time I come here, it's like, oh, I didn't see this. Oh, I didn't see this. There's so much stuff going on over here. It's like with this little venom stuff it looks like it's coming through these little things mm -hmm. there's just so many small details i mean you can put a little funny little picture over here with a uh, baron von savage uh thing with the little bug eyes with the little red lights and stuff i mean it's awesome yeah, this i mean this is well put together and i still like i said this you are the only person so far i've ever seen to do the two-way mirror I've not seen anybody else do it, which I mean, like I said, I probably don't know them if they've done it, but maybe, uh, maybe, uh, th that person will see this crib, like, hold on, I got better two way mirror mirrors. I need to be in season three. So, cause there will be a I'm season three. I'm, I'm definitely trying to find new ways. Hopefully, uh, if I get another chance to develop a, another base, I'm, I'm working on some ones. I'm not going to say what they are, but there's some, uh, there's some things that you can take a lot of windows, a lot of things that are similar to like the, uh, art deco. Uh, door frames and you can make them into walls it all depends on what you're wanting to sit there and layer and um, and how you can combine them and it's really funny there's a lot of things that people look at and they think it's only one style only um, you know and like like with the art deco uh, I see a lot of people use those art deco uh, uh, doorways in like say like a penthouse base but um, but you see here, this is this is a cave, uh, and and you would think it would look silly, but the way I did it is I made it into like the glass of almost uh, of what you want to call like a like a a tree house, not tree house, a, a greenhouse. So it's like a greenhouse glass, you know, if you use it in a certain in a completely different way. Right. And like like I said, this whole extension thing right here. I mean, I, you know, not not a lot of people would have thought about doing this because. In all actuality, this right here, where this beam is right here, is where it stops, and this is all an open area right here. Mm -hmm. And you actually went and pieced, pieced these together and everything, and made it a whole full wall and closed it in and everything, so... Which is awesome. Alright, guys, you know the drill. Uh, basically, guys, what we're going to do... Bottom line is, you, you don't have to just vote for one base. You can vote for every base that you like. Any base that you like, there's no need to dislike because it doesn't matter. I mean, if you just want to dislike it, you're just disliking the the, 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 the whole idea of D, DC World Crib. So, basically, what, what it is, is we're going to run this for a week. After a week, uh, this will drop on the 25th. It's a Monday. It's Christmas Day. And at the end of uh, the next following Monday, we, we will do a follow up, and you'll show. I'll show the winner, and um, we'll give them, we'll give the winner uh, the twenty mil prize, and um, and we'll do another walkthrough of their base or whatever. Uh, just depends on uh, what what kind of time frame we're looking for and everything. Uh, so, like I said, guys, please like and guys, if you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe. I got tons of stuff like this coming up in the future. Baron, thank you so much for showing us your base, brother. I do appreciate it. And guys, y'all have a good day.